What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Yusuf Reacts. Today, we're hitting the Nitrous, drifting across continents, and diving headfirst into the world of Fast and Furious 6. Buckle up, because this movie is an adrenaline-packed ride that really kicks the action into overdrive. Let's get into it. Fast and Furious 6 picks up where the fifth installment left off, with Dom Toretto played by Vin Diesel and his crew living in different parts of the world after their heist in Rio. But they're not off the hook yet. This time, they're called in by none other than Agent Hobbs, played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Why? Because there's a new villain in town Owen Shaw. Owen Shaw, played by Luke Evans, is an ex-SAS soldier with a criminal crew of his own, and he's causing chaos across Europe. Hobbs needs Dom and his team because Shaw isn't just any bad guy he's the kind that makes other bad guys look like amateurs. Plus, there's a wild card in the mix. Letty, that's right. Dom's long-lost love, Letty Ortiz, isn't dead after all. She's very much alive and working with Shaw. This bombshell sets up one of the biggest emotional stakes in the movie. Letty, who has amnesia, doesn't remember Dom or her old crew. It's a mix of action and heartfelt moments as Dom tries to bring her back, making us feel the emotional weight of their history. I mean, family isn't just a word for these guys it's everything. And while Dom tries to reach Letty, the rest of the T-Ambrian, Tej, Roman, and Giselle are putting in the work. There are high-speed car chases, insane stunts, and, of course, Roman cracking jokes left and right. Seriously. Tyrese Gibson's Roman brings the comic relief that makes this thrill ride even better. But it's not all fun and games. There are big stakes here. Shaw is planning to steal a dangerous device that could cause chaos if it falls into the wrong hands. The crew is up against crazy odds, including tanks and a massive plane. On a never-ending runway mean, seriously, how long was that runway? Speaking of the plane scene, it's one of the wildest set pieces in the franchise so far. We've got cars literally flying through the air, and the kind of stunts that only Fast and Furious can deliver. And let's not forget Gissel's heroic sacrificer, I.P. Jaseel. This moment gave us all the feels, as she gave her life to save her love, Han. The movie ends on a high note, with the team defeating Shaw, Letty back with the crew and everyone gathering for a family barbecue. And let's be home lots a fast and furious movie without a classic Toretto barbecue scene. Hobbs has Dominic and Brian reassemble their crew to take down a team of mercenaries. But Dominic unexpectedly gets sidetracked with facing his presumed deceased girlfriend, Letty. Since Dom Diesel and Brian's Walker Rio heist toppled a Kingpin's empire and left their crew with $100 million, our heroes have scattered across the globe. But their inability to return home and living forever on the lamb have left their lives incomplete. Meanwhile, Hobbs Johnson has been tracking an organization of luckily skilled mercenary drivers across 12 countries, whose mastermind Evans is aided by a ruthless second-in-command revealed to be the love Dom thought was dead, Letty Rodriguez. The only way to stop the criminal outfit is to outmatch them at street level. So Hobbs asks Dom to assemble his elite team in London. Payment? Full pardons for all of them so they can return home and make their families whole again. Following their successful Rio heist, Dominic Toretto Vin Diesel and his crew of professional criminals have retired. Around the world, Dominic lives with his new girlfriend Elena Elsa Pataki. His sister Mia Jordana Brewster lives with Brian O'Connor Paul Walker and their son Jack. Jaseel Galgadot and Han Sung Kang have moved to Hong Kong. And Roman Tyrese Gibson and Tej Chris Ludacris Bridges live in luxury. Meanwhile, Diplomatic Security Service DSS agent Luke Hobbs Dwayne Johnson and his partner Riley Hicks Gina Carano investigate the destruction of a Russian military convoy by former British Special Forces soldier Owen Shaw Luke Evans and his crew. Hobbs tracks down Dominic and persuades him to help take down Shaw. After showing him a recent photo of the supposedly long-dead Letty Ortiz Michelle Rodriguez, Dominic's former girlfriend. Dominic gathers his crew together and they accept the mission in exchange for full amnesty. 
for their past crimes, allowing them to return home to the United States. Mia and Elena remain with Jack. The crew travels to London where one of Shaw's henchmen leads them to Shaw's hideout. But it is revealed to be a trap intended to distract the crew and police while Shaw's crew performs a heist elsewhere. Shaw flees by car, detonating his hideout behind him and disabling most of the police. Leaving Dominic, Brian, Tej, Khan, Jaseel, Hobbs and Riley to pursue him. Letty arrives to help Shaw, and shoots Dominic without hesitation before escaping. Back at their headquarters, Hobbs tells Dominic's crew that Shaw is stealing components to create a nightshade device which can disable power in an entire region. He intends to sell it to the highest bidder. Meanwhile, Shaw's investigation into the opposing crew reveals Letty's relationship with Dominic. But she is revealed to be suffering from amnesia and is now a brainwashed associate working for Shaw. Dominic's crew investigates a Shaw subordinate who reveals Shaw's connection to Arturo Braga John Ortiz, a drug lord imprisoned by Brian in Fast and in Furious 4. Brian returns to the United States as a prisoner to gain access to Braga, who discloses how Letty survived the explosion that was thought to have killed her. Apparently, Shaw attempted to finish her off but after learning of her amnesia, he took her in. Aided by a former ally in the FBI, Brian is released from prison. In London, Dominic challenges Letty in a street racing competition, and afterwards returns her necklace he had kept. Tedge tracks Shaw's next attack to a NATO base in Spain. His crew assaults a military convoy carrying a computer chip to complete the nightshade device. Dominic's crew interferes, destroying the convoy while Shaw, accompanied by Letty, commandeers a tank and begins destroying cars along the highway. Brian and Roman manage to flip the tank. Letty is thrown from the tank and Dominic risks his life to save her from falling to her death. Shaw and his men are captured, but he reveals that he has kidnapped Mia and his men will kill her unless he is released. The crew is forced to release Shaw, and Riley finally revealed to be a double agent working for Shaw leaves with him. Letty chooses to remain with Dom. Shaw's group board a large aircraft in motion on a runway as Dominic's crew gives chase. Dominic, Letty, Brian, and Hobbs board the craft. Brian rescues Mia and they escape using a car on board. The plane attempts to take off but is held down by excess weight as Han, Jaseel, Roman, Tej, Brian, and Mia tether the plane to their vehicles. Jaseel sacrifices herself to save Han from one of Sha's henchmen whom she shoots, but falls from the plane to her death. Letty kills Riley and escapes with Hobbs to safety, but Dominic pursues Shaw and the computer chip. Shaw is thrown from the plane as it crashes into the ground. Dom drives one of the remaining cars through the nose of the exploding plane and reunites with his crew, giving the chip to Hobbs to secure their amnesty. In the aftermath, Dominic and his team return to the United States. Hobbs and Elena now working with Hobbs arrive to confirm the crew are free. Elena accepts Dominic has chosen Letty over her. As Dominic's crew gather to share a meal at his house, Dominic asks Letty if the gathering feels familiar. She answers no, but that it feels like home. In a mid-credits, in Tokyo, while Han is in a car chase, he is hit by an oncoming car. Han's car explodes, killing him the scene from Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. The other car's driver Jason Statham, uncredited walks away from the scene and calls Dominic, leaving him a message, you don't know me, you're about to. Ultimately, Fast and and Furious 6 is about loyalty, redemption, and, as always, family. It gave us action-packed moments, emotional reunions, and set the stage for what's to come in the series. It's a perfect mix of high-octane thrills and heartwarming bonds. So, what did you guys think of Fast and and Furious 6? Did you love the action, or did the crazy stunts have you shaking your head? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more movie breakdowns, and ring the bell so you never miss a beat. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay fast, stay furious.